As of Max 5.1.8 and Live 8.2.2, API mappings created for Live.Object, Live.Remote, and Live.Observer are automatically saved with the Live set. I'm going to create a mapping to the Mixer Device volume on track 1. I'll send the parameters path to Live.Path, which sends the ID to Live.Object and creates a mapping between my number box and the parameter. Now I'll close the set and reopen the set again. My live.object has retained the mapping. I can update live.object with another mapping which will get saved in the live set in its place. If for some reason you do not wish to save the mapping in the live set, you can uncheck the option in live.object's inspector. All instances of live.object in devices created in versions of Max and Live prior to 5.1.8 and 8.2.2 have this option unchecked so that those devices will keep working the same way. Now that IDs are persistent, they are also no longer device specific. Instead, they are set specific. Therefore, once an ID is defined, it is globally accessible within the set. For example, if I load a second device and navigate to another device parameter, I get ID 3 because IDs 1 and 2 have already been defined in the set. And since IDs are globally accessible, I can send ID 3 to the live.object in my first device and access that parameter. IDs are relevant only inside the set in which they were created. They won't persist if you load your device in a different set. One exception is the mapping that takes place within a rack preset. Live.objects within rack presets will retain their mappings even in a new set.